So in the last video, we talked more about the rule of universal specification, and I'm pretty sure by now it must be crystal clear. So we're going to move on, and we're going to talk about the rule of universal generalization. Now, if an open statement, Px, is proved to be true when x is replaced by any arbitrary of a chosen element c from our universe, then the universally quantified statement Ax Px is true. This rule extends beyond single variables, so if we have an open statement q x y that is proved to be true when x y replaced arbitrarily by elements the same as the same universe or their own respective universes, the universally quantified statement a x a y q x y or no, this is not supposed to be here is true. So and we have the same idea for for three or more variables. So pretty much what this is all about is for the rule of universal generalization, if you pick some element uh, x, per se, and, and it is true for an open statement px, so this then, then universally this quantified statement ax px is true because whatever x you pick from that universe, when it is compared or used in that open statement, it is always true. So it's a universally true statement, it's a quantified statement for ax px is true. So now that we got that out of our agenda, we're going to go ahead and apply this rule of universal generalization. Now, px, qx, and rx are just open statements defined for a given universe. I don't have specific statements for it, but I just have a symbolic definition for the argument. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to reason them out. Try to get this using these two statements or the, the argument. Now, of course, we're going to start with whatever whatever looks right. So, because all we need at the, at the end result, all we need for step six is we need to end up with this. You can use whatever you want to in, within this argument to get to that. So, we're just going to start off with the first one, with ax px implies qx. And the reason for this is it's a premise. And we're going to use some arbitrary statements. So let's say C. So we're going to use PC implies QC. So it's just some arbitrary element uh, that fits into, that makes this statement true because it must be, uh, it must follow the general, the rule of universal generalization. So, but using this, we are using something that we already know, the rule of universal specification that if, uh, if ax, px implies qx and, it, and it's true for every single element, if you just plop in the element, then that element must also mean that pc implies qc because it's following, it's following the framework that is laid out by ax, px implies qx. So that's the rule of universal specification. Next we're going to use third, the second uh, given statement, ax, qx implies rx and this is a premise and again we're going to use our rule of universal specification for 4 so we have qc implies rc and what do you know pc implies qc qc implies rc that must mean that pc implies rc and that would be using 2 and 4 and syllogism, the rule of syllogism. And this would be using step 3, that would be using step 4. And finally, we have we have what we want. Uh, we, we can say that for just some arbitrary statement C, we pop it into this, Px, then it will imply qx and then or qc, then qc would imply rc, then that must mean that pc will imply qc for uh, pc will imply Q, or pc will imply rc for for any arbitrary statement c that comes from the universe. So that will give us that will that will give us ax px implies rx. This is true. Because, because of the rule of universal generalization. Remember, 
The rule of universal generalization is that if we uh, replace x by some arbitrary chosen element c from our universe, and that universe, then universally that quantified statement ax px is true, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. So this this statement was proved when we put an arbitrary statement, and we came up with pc implies rc. So using rule of universal generalization, this is true. So I hope I made it somewhat clear, and I hope you learned something today. That's the rule of universal generalization, and that's the main point for what we're discussing in this video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again next time.